What's up guys? Um, I don't really do this. Uh, this is probably the first video I've done on sneakers. It's just something I'm also interested in aside from Gundams. And um, what I got recently was a pair of the uh, off-white Jordan 5s. I got them from the uh, early access on sneakers. And I just want to go ahead and make a video of me um, just cutting out the holes because I think that it would look interesting. I don't think I've seen any videos of anyone cutting out the holes of the sale pair yet. Um, I've seen uh, like Fomer Simpson and then just Virgil do it on the original metallic pair. But I want to go ahead and do it on this one because I like personally I like the sale pair uh, a lot better. Um, so, and I think that just like with all the holes in the shoe already, like you can see in the tongue, um, and then just around everywhere, I think it adds to like a surrealist one. I want, I think it would look a lot better with these things cut out. So I'm going to be cutting out all the holes, including the off-white text panel ones, which people usually don't like to do because it's sort of like an off-white thing. But personally, I think that, you know, the, the little hint of the text being there behind the cages looks pretty cool. And I think it would just look kind of weird if I uh, left a, uh, just one hole filled in. Um, so yeah, uh, these are a lot different from the other off-whites, like, you know, the uh, Prestos here, you got the air, it's just the original 10 sort of vibe. Um, it, it, it's just uh, a lot different. Like personally, I don't know if I how, how much I like the um, textile covering over it. I feel like it's somewhat strange. Um, if they went with something like more of a leather, like on these ones, I think that it would look a lot um, nicer. Just because I really like the leather that they used on this one. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the holes on this guy. Um, I can get a few shots of them uh, just normally, I guess, and then I'll go ahead and show a little bit of a comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, ready uh, to get cut up. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off like the lace bags and unlace them and stuff. So um, yeah. So I got them all prepped um, before I start cutting. I um, got the X-Acto knife uh, blades and the X-Acto knife. I'm going to go ahead and replace the blade because I was working on a cross kit with this and I think it might be a little bit dull. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and start uh, cutting.
All right, so this is uh, probably just gonna be the end of it. Um, finish cutting out all the holes. Um, you know, personally, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, I don't know, I don't, well, I don't think that many other people have the same opinion. I just think that this is more how the shoe was meant to be uh, made. And, you know, like, I'm not too worried about the practicality of it and stuff, because, like, you know, no one's wearing off-whites for practicality. No one's, like, really going into the gym or playing basketball in them unless you're, like, you know, uh, P.J. Tucker or someone like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I just think that these look a lot nicer than they did before. Um, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to sell these or anything, so, you know, the, the resale value doesn't really um, concern me regarding it. And I just wanted to make a shoe that um, I thought looked cool uh, while wearing. So yeah, this is the uh, finished product of me just cutting out the holes that were like already pre-made uh, in the um, off-white fives. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get a few uh, on-feed photos of this, and then uh, I think the video will be finished up. So thanks. See you guys.